jaguar is the largest cat in the Americas and after lions and tigers, the third largest in the world. Its range extends from the southwestern U.S., where there are very few in the wild, through Mexico and Central America to Patagonia. Jaguars eat small and large mammals, lizards and birds, and occasionally domestic livestock. They are strong swimmers and often travel along streams hunting as they go. The jaguar has been gradually pushed out of its native homeland by ranching, farming, and development, and to make matters worse, humans have killed off much of the jaguar's natural prey in the remaining forest. In Mexico, they have hung on in patches along the east and west coasts and in the Yucatan Peninsula. Jaguars have, of course, historically held a special place in Mexico's culture. Among ancient Mexicans, jaguars symbolized power and royalty and were thought to protect royal households. Tez Catlapoca, the supreme god, occasionally even appears as a jaguar. Seven species of opossum make their home in Mexico. They are all marsupials with long, hairless, prehensile tails, but their sizes differ greatly, from the large common opossum and Virginia opossum, the species we have here in the U.S., to the tiny Mexican mouse opossum, which weighs just four ounces. In Mexico, opossums are generally thought to have magical powers and yet to be foul, inedible creatures. They probably have a bad reputation, at least in part, because of their habit of urinating on themselves when threatened. The Mayans believe that a large opossum that makes a grumbling noise is in reality an evil spirit. Most biologists believe this sound is actually an expression of aggression. According to an old Mexican myth, before people had fire, it was kept by an old woman who refused to share it with the people. One evening, Opossum showed up and asked if he could warm her, himself at her fire. Opossum tricked the selfish old woman and put his tail in the fire so that it caught on fire. The Opossum ran from the old woman and, and through the town, sharing fire with all the people as he went. In exchange, the people agreed to never eat Opossum. At least two species of anteaters are found in Mexico. Anteaters are slow-moving, toothless mammals with long, thin snouts and prehensile tails that have been especially engineered to eat ants and termites. They are closely related to armadillos and sloths. The Tamandua anteater is very tenacious and difficult to kill. When threatened, it stands up on its hind legs and swings its large claws. It is said in Mexico that it is bad luck to kill one on Tuesday, as the hunter will probably be attacked by the anteater if he goes up against one on this day. There are about 50 species of hummingbirds in Mexico. Hummingbirds are thought by many in Mexico to be magical. Therefore, people are in the habit of killing them on Tuesdays or Fridays only, toasting them until dry, and then powdering them. Young men often carry dried hummingbird with them. When one sees a young woman he desires, he might sprinkle the hummingbird powder on her head to make her fall in love with him. Hummingbird powder is used as a general good luck charm as well. And of course, Quetzalcoatl, the god that is a sort of mix between the Quetzal bird and the serpent, is known throughout Central America. Quetzalcoatl did us all the favor of creating the first people and then of introducing corn to them. He is also the god of wind. The Quetzal bird, with its emerald green, emerald green head and the luxuriously long green plumes of its tail, is endangered due to the destruction of its cloud forest habitat and the habit that people have of hunting the bird in order to sell its feathers. In addition to being one ingredient of the god Quetzalcoatl, the Quetzal bird was revered by the ancient Mayans and Incans.